Uh, Mick McKenzie here. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> start by using a word that apparently is going to cause many of you to click off. Ready? Kinesiology. <laughs> My organizer told me that a lot of people that when they hear that word, they click off and say, no, cool, go away. Uh, I was first exposed to kinesiology when I graduated from chiropractic college. I saw its merits from some of our student teachers. Uh, the man who innovated it, George Goodhart, was practicing and teaching right across the river. I was living in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and I took my first weekend with him, and I was enthralled. I thought, wow, there's a lot you can do with this. And uh, the chiropractic profession, pretty much as a whole, uh, dismissed it, said this is not chiropractic, even though it was a chiropractic innovation. Now there are all kinds of schools shooting up around kinesiology, and a lot of people making up a lot of things. Uh, and it's, it's interesting, and I don't blame you for clicking off. Although, uh, when I came home from my first class, my mom and dad, I said, I said, you got to look at this stuff. This is really cool. And I had my muscle manuals, and I was showing them things. And, and my dad said, well, what if he's wrong? And I said, well, I'm willing to take that risk. And uh, my mom said, is he a pioneer? And it has uh, come to be shown that George Goodhart is, was a pioneer, I guess. Uh, he was to be featured on the f cover of Newsweek. It was Easter weekend, and they featured Jesus. So Otis Thomas, one of his students and my mentors, I came up and he said, uh, George was just upstaged by Jesus, that's all. <laughs> but uh, the point of the rant is, if you have uh, health care concerns, uh, look at chiropractic, look at kinesiology, look at giving uh, uh, other things a chance, things that seem to be working. Uh, I'm not uh, saying it works for everybody. Uh, my work does not work for everybody. Uh, my consulting work, and I do uh, kinesiology, chiropractic in my home because it works on a lot of people. They get rid of knee pains, back pains, headaches, uh, depression, uh, things like that. I don't really, working on symptoms is fun because you can get rid of them, but sometimes it can get tedious and boring. Uh, my consulting work is based only looking at your vitality. Uh, if you have problems, and I say this at the, at the end of a class, if you know people with problems, send them someplace else because I don't really care to deal with problems. Um, it's kind of like that Bob Newhart Stop It video. If you go to YouTube, uh, we do that a lot in class. People say, well, my mother, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, we're not going to deal with what your mother did to you when you were three because it's all bullshit. It's all illusion. Memories are illusion. Memories are conjured. Memories are based on who you were at that time, uh, real similar to the kid when Bruce Willis gets back and he said, well, I remember the big slide being a lot bigger. And of course he did because he was a lot smaller. So we don't deal with memories. Uh, and we talk a little bit about dreams, but we don't interpret them. Uh, what we look for basically is you. Uh, the spirit of you, that uh, bright, happy individual that came onto the planet and has been enculturated into mediocrity and... Uh, Pissed offness, cynicism. I have never experienced any of those myself. <laughs> if you believe that, you didn't see my rant on the presidential race, did you? Hey, have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com.